Ah, Ping Pong, one of the greatest games of all time, played by virtually everybody. Now, nah, who am I kidding? You only play it when you're really at a friend's house and you got nothing else to do and they get a ping pong table. But it's actually pretty interesting because it relates to all of, guess what? Newton's laws! Alright, so ping pong relates to Newton's first law because it states that an object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless acted upon by an external unbalanced force. Inertia is the tendency of an object to remain in a state of rest or in uniform motion or in a straight line. Mass is the measure of inertia. The greater the mass of an object, the greater its inertia, and vice versa. A ping pong ball will remain in a straight line and move at a continuous speed if there was no gravity and air resistance. However, gravity and air resistance impact the ball and cause it to drop. Also, it relates to the second law. This law is also known as simply just force equals mass times acceleration. This basically means that the greater mass that an object has, the more its acceleration will be. Since the ping pong ball is so light and has a low mass that is easily changed, the player does not have to exert as much force due to its light mass. That's why playing ping pong with a bowling ball definitely would not work nor be smart. Among the items tossed out were 10,000 ping pong balls <laughs> and one bowling ball. Finally, the third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first object. When you hit a ping pong ball and the equal force is being exerted back on the paddle, propelling the ping pong ball in the opposite direction. Also, when you miss the ball, as I usually do, because I am terribly unathletic at every sport possible, because sports, yeah, the ball will literally hit the ground and bounce, as you may know. This is because the ground decided to fight back and exert equal force in the opposite direction. I hope you enjoyed our little recap on why ping pong is actually one of the smartest activities on earth. And just for funsies, why not look what happens when you shoot a ping pong ball at a paddle in supersonic speed. Now let's send it over to Phil Swift and JonTron to tell you how much damage this really is. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. It's not that much damage, really, Phil. It's not, could, could be a lot worse. In, uh... Did you hear the beat to Mario there? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the tape on that. I'm going to the tape now.